What's up, Cancer? It's Tina from Trust. Oh, excuse me. It's not Trust and Truth Tarot. I keep doing that. It's Twinkle Star Tarot. Guys, I changed the name of my channel. Um, I decided to name the channel after my late kitty Twinkle. She passed away in December at the age of 17. So to honor her, her memory, <clears throat> I've decided to name everything across the board after her. So yes, welcome to Twinkle Star Tarot. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Spirit Guides in the Universe. This reading is for the Zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. So Cancer, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and I do hope you will consider subscribing. Uh, for those of you that are returning, welcome back, and thanks so much, as always, for your support. Cancer, if you are new to my channel, um, I do a nine-card spread for general readings. I do three cards for your recent past, three for your present, and three for your near future. I also clarify, do bottom of the deck overview, and I'll be doing an extended reading for you on Vimeo. Link for that will be down below, if you would like to do it. Let's see. Okay, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Okay, so putting the deck, Cancer. Oh, we've got conflict. Hello, both of the fives, uh, five of wands and five of swords. All right, guys, what's going on? So you're fighting with somebody. This is kind of petty too, isn't it? Yeah, it got a little dramatic. Now, some of you, mm, this is fighting for something, fighting with someone, arguing with someone. It's just conflict, you know, um, that that type of thing. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be though. Let's see. All right, Cancer. Three cards for Cancer's recent past, please. Oh, wow. Okay, so I see what it was. Flew all the way over here. Okay, four of wands, six of coin, and the sun. All right, definitely some fire sign energy going on here. Okay, Cancer, I see what's going on. All right, present energy, present energy, please. So cancer. Right. Mm. Okay. Near future for cancer, please. Near future for cancer. Okay. Oh, the world. That's awesome. The world is the most positive card in the deck and the fool. Okay. okay. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords Reverse. Again, we have that air sign energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Queen of Swords Reverse is one of two things. One, she withholds communication or she's dishonest. And two, um, or two, she's a divorcee, also that air sign, like I mentioned, or she can be very cutting with her communication, okay? She can be um, just really snarky, like really just mean, you know? And it could have been that you were doing that to someone, Cancer, or someone was doing that to you, all right? Um, because what I'm seeing here is kind of a storyline, but listen, it's not as bad as you think, all right? Ooh, that's phone is shaking. That's a helicopter red. I'm in Florida. We've got the hurricane coming. So um, you might hear some news choppers and things like that going on out there now. Um, okay. Or feel them through the vibration of my phone. <laughs> All right. So what we've got going on here is the uh, Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Sun. This is the recent past. Cancer, you opened up your heart, your home. You were very generous to someone, obviously. You were very happy with them as well. This person may have children or you may have children too. Um, but what I'm gathering here is that you um, you could be married to them. It's possible. Um, but uh, it looks like you were very, very sweet and kind to them is what I'm getting here. The Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Sun. You just wanted to see them happy is what I'm gathering. We'll clarify all this too, but really, truly, that's what you wanted in your heart. Um, that was your intention, and I do see that coming through pretty clearly here on the cards. Now, when the, you know, in the present energy, it seems like this person, Knight of Wands Reverse, I can't, like the Knight of Wands Reverse, I really can't with, and I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me, whether or not this is a fire sign, this is somebody who is just extremely just off the wall. They do things that are erratic, irresponsible, irrational. They say things in the same manner. They're just very immature and they're like a kid. You know what I mean? Like a like a kid on their worst behavior. Um, they run around town. They don't tell you what they're doing. They're just... They're, they're, not, they're kind of out of control of themselves, of their own behavior, of their own life, right? And here you are trying to help them, give them everything that you got. And here's this person just like taking it for granted and running around. But the thing is with the Six of Cups, you guys are soulmates, whether you believe it or not, Cancer, okay? You do love this person. This person does love you. You probably have a past life relationship with them, all right? Um, so it's a very close bond. Now, this also could be, if this is not a romantic thing, sorry, guys, <laughs> lots of activity here on the beach. Okay, if it's not a romantic thing, uh, this could also be your children. You could have a kid that's doing this as well, okay? So you're trying to help your kid out. You're trying to be there for them. It could be a friend even, whatever. Somebody that you really, really care about, but it is somebody that you care about that you were trying to help. Knight of Pentacles, okay, could be one of two things. This could be an earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could also be that slowly but surely, 
you were or you are or you will start to see improvements in this person okay so they start to get their stuff together essentially they start to slowly slowly make improvements and come back around to a sense of stability now you may have had to lay down the law with the queen of swords reverse you may have had to be like yo you know if you don't cut this shit out you're you're out you're out the door i'm kicking you out of my four of cups okay um and they may have really heard that okay but the thing is cancer with the near future energy what i'm getting is that there is a turnaround here, okay? So whatever this is that you're dealing with and this person that you're dealing with that seems completely irrational, erratic, off the wall, um, it does seem to me that this person is coming full circle. They're coming back to you. They are coming back to themselves, back to the person that you opened your home to, back to the person that you love, okay? Getting themselves together. They could just be going through, we all go through it, guys, you know, at points of our lives. Um, they could be going through something emotionally. Maybe it's just a, you know, it's one of those periods. Could have been the full moon. It just could have been anything that really triggered them to uh, behave this way, and they seem to have gotten on some sort of reckless streak, is what I see here. Um, but going forward into the near future, the good news, like I said, is that with the world, the fool, it does look like there's a new beginning, a fresh start. Okay, so this person does come around. I'm really sorry, the, the phone cut out and at the same time an ambulance came by, so I gave it a minute just to kind of see if this could settle down a little bit outside. All right, so what I'm gathering here is this person does come around, but unfortunately, Cancer, for you, what I'm getting is that now you're unsure of how you want to deal with this. You know, I've got the three of wands reverse. This tells me that you don't even know if you want the partnership anymore because they've pissed you off so badly. You know what I mean? Like they, they've really broken your trust is what I'm getting. Hmm. All right, let's clarify. All right. Six of pentacles. Woo. All right, that was way too many. That's about 10 cards we had flying, but they are flying for you guys today. Somebody really needs to hear this. Six of Pentacles, okay, Four of Swords reversed. So that would be talking to someone, coming out. This person could have been um, out of your life for a while and come back in, all right, and then you opened your home to them and helped them. That's one of the things, too. Um, it could be that you were talking to them about, hey, you know, I'm gonna give you a hand. I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna, you know, be kind to you, but all you have to do is just really work on getting your stuff together and getting your life together, and that'll be fine, and then they burned you, okay? Four of Wands, Five of Swords reversed, right? You were trying to keep them out of conflict, out of trouble. And this does seem to me, Cancer, it could go the opposite way for some of you, very small percentage, but for a lot of you, this is gonna be going out towards another person. So it's you that's trying to help this person, trying to keep them out of trouble, trying to talk to them, trying to make them understand, you know, don't don't be the Knight of Wands reverse. Don't be erratic, don't be crazy, don't be compulsive, okay? The Sun, the Five of Cups, that's crazy. Yeah, you know, this person could struggle with some mental stuff, guys. I'm not a doctor, but it could be related to depression or anxiety that this person has that causes them to behave like this. Um, so it could be somewhat out of their control. Not entirely, right? But somewhat, somewhat, somewhat. Okay. Or you were just very sad that you did all of this for that person. And they, again, they just totally threw it back, right back in your face, you know, made you regret it. Knight of Wands reversed. Nine of coin reversed, okay. So again, I see there's two things here with the nine of coin. One is that you remained committed to this person even though they were behaving this way, okay? Whether or not they were romantic, doesn't matter if they were a friend, a kid, you know, whoever. Um, you still were committed to them. You still were um, doing your best to help them you know, become stable. The other thing though too is that they could have been draining you financially as well. You could have been doing fine and then this person comes in and you're trying to help them but by helping them you're also giving them money or supporting them financially and it did start to become a burden or start to affect you adversely, you know, in, in the financial area. Six of Cups. Eight of Cups reverse. See, they are coming back around, Cancer. If you're in separation right now, um, this indicates to me they'll be back, all right? But literally, when I say, and I wouldn't just say this, guys. You know I would be completely blunt with you about it. Like, don't take this blah, 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 blah back, you know? I'm not saying that. I'm saying the opposite, actually. What I'm saying is that this person really is making an effort this time to try to be better, all right? They really do care about you as much as you care about them, whether you know that or not. I'm here to tell you that that's true, okay? And they do see the error in their ways. They just they had a freaking spastic event about a spastic moment. Like, I don't, it's hard to explain, but I mean, 
I know when I was younger, obviously not, I can't, you know, I wouldn't be able to do that now, but when I was younger, like there would be times where I would just be like, I don't like what's going on in my life right now. I'm gonna take a few days off work and just go run to New York City. Okay, stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. And this is what, maybe it wasn't as bad as what this person did, but that's what kind of behavior you're talking about. Like, what, what are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you getting on a plane? You know, that type of thing. But it just doesn't make sense. But to the, in the time, to that person, they're so just fed up with life and anxiety and just all these things that are going on that they need to get away for a while. And I do feel like for some of you, that's what this person was doing. Knight of Pentacles for Cancer, please. Wheel of Fortune, see, I told you. Timing is right. Fortunate faded events, they're being brought back into your life, slowly but surely, okay? And with the Knight of Pentacles, we are seeing a much more stable person. Stable, solid, committed, uh, again, grounded person, all right? Grounded, grounded energy here coming in, all right? For those of you that have been waiting for job opportunities or offers, um, and especially if you're struggling financially because of like a lack of work, um, there is a very good opportunity here, a very good chance that work is coming in for you this month, okay? Woo, okay, so three of wands reverse, queen of pentacles reverse, again, that earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but it was just like I was saying a minute ago. Queen of, queen of pentacles is gonna be entirely committed, right? She's the wife, she's the mother, she's the protector, she's the nurturer of this of the zodiac okay she really is or of the, of the tarot deck um but when she gets to a point where she's so scorned queen of swords reverse sometimes she pulls back on that right and that's okay which that's perfectly fine um but you may be feeling that way right now or you might be feeling like that in the near future like you're not quite sure if you still want to invest in this person or if you want to continue to invest in them if they you know what i mean they've, they've got a proven pattern of behavior now with you and your trust has been damaged, okay? The world, the chariot, there you go, Cancer. See, everything's coming full circle for you. They're coming back in, they've got, they're getting it together, forward positive movement, your card in the upright, really good energy, guys. I'm telling you, I got a good feeling about this one. So my, my advice here is gonna be give it a second chance, give it a go, all right, if you want to, if you haven't been, hurt to the point of no return, okay? Um, you could probably, very likely, you know, trust that this person is going to make a real effort this time, and hopefully that's the last time you'll have to deal with this kind of drama, okay? The Fool for Cancer, please. The Ace of Cups, see? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, some of you, if you're completely single and this reading had nothing to do with your love life, that's new love coming in. But if you're not, if this person is romantic, even if they're not romantic, even if they're your kid, your friend, your sister, your brother, your mother, it doesn't matter. Um, there's a renewed sense of love and abundance and just a fresh start, completely fresh start with this person. That's what I'm gonna call the video, fresh start. Okay guys, um, I'm gonna continue this down on Vimeo. The link for that will be down below. I am going to cover in depth over there cancer singles, cancer couples, and cancer career and finance for the month of September. So if you're interested, please check that out over on Vimeo. Uh, for the rest of you, if you're interested in a personal reading, please email me. It's trustintruthtarot at gmail.com. I'd be happy to set something up for you. Otherwise, have a beautiful month of September, my friends, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.